My name is Caleb. My name is Nage. The type of woman that I'm looking for is somebody who's caring. Uh, they have a drive to go after their goals. I'm interested in a guy who's artistic, um, who's adventurous, spontaneous, um, good vibes, good energy, really positive. I'm really silly and goofy, so somebody who can match that. Somebody who knows what he wants. Somebody who's always down to go to do some type of adventure. Ideally, I would like somebody who's taller than me, you know what I'm saying, six foot and above. How you doing? I'm Nage. <laughs> I'm Caleb. You said your name's Nage? Yeah. Oh wow, she has a really nice smile. Wasn't quite prepared for that. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. He kind of short. So how you doing today? I'm cold. Cold? <laughs> yes. I, I feel you. I'm definitely trying to like keep my hands warm when you're coming out. It's like, I'll make sure I don't have cold hands to shake. I know. You don't have a coat? Well, I'm from New York, so like being cold is relative uh, for me. Like right now it's like 15 degrees in New York right now. All right, don't come back with no cold now. Oh, no, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> all right. I'll be all right. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey, born and raised there. I'm in the process of moving, so. You moving again? Here. Oh, yeah. oh, so, so you're still, still making the transition down here. Yeah, a lot of back and forth. Oh, word, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When it's really you... exciting that she's moving out here and just taking a chance on uh, coming down to Atlanta all the way down from up north. So I have these questions that I would like to ask you. Is that okay with you? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I was gonna ask you anyway, so. <laughs> okay. All right, so if we were together, how would you feel if I had good friends of the opposite sex? Why or why not? If, if we were together and you had good friends of the opposite sex, um, I guess it depends on who, who they were, how they interacted with you. But um, in general, especially if they came before before we were together, like I, I'd be okay. okay. I'd like to meet them. I'd like to um, see, I'd like to get some more insight about who you are. Really? Yeah, especially if they were, came around before me, like they That's know you better than me. Okay, so he's real respectful. I like that. That's what's up. I actually do have a guy best friend, so. Really? Mm -hmm. How long have you been friends for? Um, what is this, 2020? Probably about three years now. Okay, okay. Yeah, we met when I was in college and we met kind of for the wrong reasons, but he's been like, my best friend through everything, like through my growth, through his growth and everything like that. So, so his daughter's my goddaughter, all of that. So he'd be somebody that I wanted to like, get some information, like yeah. to speak with. And it, <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm sure his, his opinion matters a lot to you. Right. So I got some questions as well. Okay. Um, so how quickly would you want kids and how many would you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I ain't even gonna hold you. Like growing up, I used to have this whole timeline of events. Like this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. But ideally, like I would definitely want to be married at least for like a year or so first, uh -huh. maybe two years. Um, and I definitely want at least two kids. I actually want twins. Really? Yes. So I'm praying that whoever I marry, I'll be able to have twins. Do twins run in your family? They do. Yes. Are you I'm a twin? Side. I'm not. Okay. I do have twin sisters. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's kind of how. Oh, that you got that feeling. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to answer that? Or? Sure. Um, I haven't really had like a timeline in terms of like when I want kids. I definitely want to have them after I get married. Mm -hmm. um, I, the whole of a certain time, not really sure because my parents had that same idea and I showed up like within a year of them getting married. <laughs> so I've seen how that don't really work. They got right. married and the boy showed up on the scene. <laughs> So uh, I just really want to have, I really want to have either two or four. I want to have even numbers so that we can like have even them play together. Two. Yeah, three, somebody going to be like Let off to the, exactly. I have two brothers. Okay, so he wants the same amount of kids as me. That's important. Got to plan the future. You know, of course, God's will over everything. But listen, I need at least two kids, four at most. So that's good. So would you be okay with your woman getting plastic surgery? That's a very interesting question. Um, you know, I've never really considered it either. Okay. Um, I guess it really would come down to, would I be okay with it? It really depends on her, like why she wants to get plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, if it's just something she's trying to like nip and tuck or whatever, she thinks that's what she want to do, then, and she got the money, then I guess it's okay. Uh, but I wouldn't want it to be like she has, she feels like she's like trying to please somebody. Mm -hmm. Even if it's like trying to please herself. Like if there's a, like you see some stuff that you want to change, then go ahead. But I've never really thought about that question that, that like, deep, like never thought about it before. What if y'all were married and she was like, babe, I really want you to pay for this to get done because this is how I feel. What would you say? 
Oh, we gotta have a conversation. We gotta have a conversation. We gotta converse through it. Like right. it really, it really comes down to the conversation and what what it is. I know women that like when they get like um, C sections and things of that nature, then they get certain types of surgeries to get done because they want their stomach to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I could totally understand why that that's something they want. So and. and so it really would come down to what she wants in the conversation that, right. that comes out of it. She just like, I just want to blow up this and do that. I'm like, uh, you know, like, you know, we already, I already love you the way you are. Right. She makes really good eye contact and she seems really engaged with uh, trying to learn about me. Yes, um, so do you, would you want a public or a private relationship? Is it important to you that I let people know we're together on social media? Um, I wouldn't say it's important, but I can say in my past relationships, um, I didn't really feel appreciated um, throughout the relationship in itself. So when it came to social media, I was kind of looking for a cushion there, if that makes sense. So like intimately, I didn't feel appreciated. But when it came to social media, I was like, okay, if you don't make me feel like this on the outside, I would like for you to make me feel like this on the internet type of thing. But throughout my growth and you know, just learning myself more and just figuring myself out, it doesn't matter to me. And honestly, I would probably respect a private relationship depending on what my partner would like i'm flexible with that so um public or private it doesn't really matter to me i know who i'm with and that's that <laughs> okay so i have these signs uh, one said on one side it says throw away and the other side says grow and stay okay. so uh just based on our conversation like you can decide like you throw away or grow and stay okay so we'll throw them up at the, the same time and, and go from there okay you ready mm -hmm. one two three we both chose Grow and Stay. Yeah. I wasn't all that shocked that she chose Grow and Stay because I thought that we were really doing a very good job of bouncing off each other in the conversation. Um, as, I, as I said, I was really excited to talk to her, so I, was, I wasn't all that shocked, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> I was actually surprised that he chose Grow and Stay with me. Like, even though we vibed well, we are still a little different. Like, you can just tell by the way I dress, by the way he dresses, that we're not really the same kind of person, which is okay. I guess opposites attract. So why did you chose Girl Stay? Uh, you just seemed like from when you sat down and like we were just talking, it was just like, I could really see that, have, I really like conversation. I really enjoy conversation with people. And it was just really easy to just get into real conversation. I don't really like like a lot of small talk. And so right. to be able to do that was, that would work for me. Right. Um, I chose Grow and Stay because you seem very self-aware. Um, you seem like you are the kind of person who knows what he wants um, and is able to maneuver in relationships based on that, um, based on your boundaries, based on you know your standards and things like that. Um, and you're from New York, <laughs> so <laughs> like uh, being from that area, it's like you already are adapted to kind of like a certain lifestyle and stuff like that. So. I like, I like somebody who would appreciate things that I'm into when it comes to geographics and stuff like that, so. Okay, cool. Welcome back, you guys. You just watched episode number five of The Whole Truth. Um, so what do you think about Caleb and Nate? Caleb and Nays, man, uh, they hit it off really well. Uh, as soon as they met, uh, it seemed like they would they would be getting down really, really well and having a good conversation. So like, it's, it flowed really smoothly, both from the East Coast. Yeah. So that was dope to see. Okay, so when Nays first saw, she said, I don't know, guys, he kind of short. Yeah. So so that was her uh, apprehension. She did. She already had. She was like, I'm looking. When she said what I'm looking for, she said I want somebody artistic, someone adventurous. And hopefully someone taller than a, her. Taller? No, she said six feet or above. Uh, oh, so she, I guess she's a little bit taller. Oh, I, I, I thought it was just taller than uh, her. She oh, okay. Six feet or above. Okay. And so when she saw him, it was like, uh oh. So I was kind of nervous when that happened because I knew that he wasn't six feet or above. But the dude is about five nine, so I mean, it wasn't that bad. So anyway, as the com conversation progressed, it seemed like that kind of slipped out of her mind. But we're gonna get back to that okay. um, once we start seeing their final decision, what was made. But they got into something that was, I think, was really interesting. Uh, it was, um, how do you feel about having uh, your partner or your spouse having friends of the opposite sex? Um, I think he addressed it very well. He said if it's a friend and you guys have been friends for a long time, he would want to meet them because he, he could get some insight about her through the friend. So I think that was a very mature answer. I know some people say, ah, ah, you can't be friends with her or you can't be friends with him. 
So, I, so how, how would you navigate that? Like if, um, would, would that person or would that spouse not have the right to say, hey, look, now that I'm in your life, you can't be hanging with uh, Roderick or whatever the case may be. If I was to say that to you, you can't hang with Roderick. I know you used to hang with Roderick. Roderick is your best friend. You can't hang with Roderick now that you're with me. How would you navigate something like that? Am I, do, do I not have the right to say that? I think you do have the right to say that, but I think another perspective is, okay, well, can you come hang with me with Roderick? Because evidently it's a friendship there that um, that doesn't want to, to be, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Dissipate, dissolve. Yeah, dissolve. So I think that's a discussion to have. I do understand maybe the person that passed, they found out that the best friend was really the ex-boyfriend or the ex-girlfriend mm. and people try to lie that way to keep certain people oh, in their yeah. lives. Yeah. But I think it's a, definitely a conversation that needs to be open and honest. Yeah, and I think if there's any red flags, you should always jump on that. But I think if there are friends that existed before the relationship, that's all good. But just know, I think both parties should be very mindful that if you had any soul ties, like relationship that went beyond, like, okay, this is my ride or die, that per there needs to be a conversation before you go in, <laughs> go into marriage and say, hey, look, things are not going to always be the same. You used to be my number one. Now my husband or now my wife is my number one. There are going to be times where I'm going to have to say no to our time because I need to spend time with my family. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think sometimes then friends start becoming enemies to the family because mm -hmm. they feel like you're, you're taking my best right, friend right. from me and you didn't even embrace me. I, and that even goes deeper than the opposite success. That sex, that might even go to a best friend. That's what, yeah. You know? Oh yeah, 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 best friend. Best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're taking when you said taking our time. Yeah. Um so I think friendship should definitely definitely be um discussed and um to communicate. And be and, and, and if, as far as new friends are concerned, ain't no new friends only befriending one side of the spouse. Right. When you become married, you are a unit. So if you're a friend uh, you're gonna friend to the husband. You are also a friend to the wife. If you if you approach a man that is married, be mindful. If he is married, say, Hey, look, I would love to connect with you and your wife. Always address them and approach it as a unit. If you're a man addressing a woman, say, Hey, look, would you rather that I contact your husband? Just find out ways right. to be respectful in advance. Because if you're a friend to the unit of the marriage, then you can't be a threat because I can know, oh, okay, so this is Roderick? Okay, cool, I, I see who you're talking to. You can't keep secrets and keep a best friend and then your spouse is out of the loop. So I think that's a good question yeah. and conversations need to be had. So like he said, I think that was really mature. Yeah. Have conversations and not jump to jealousy. Right. The next question they were asking was about plastic surgery and it was towards Ooh. towards Caleb. Like, would you be okay if your wife or your uh, spouse wanted plastic surgery? Um, would you give her the okay to do so? That's a tough one. <laughs> it is because because I'm thinking about the double standard that's in the world today. Mm. Um, and I'll, I'll just take it on the women, you know. We can do certain things with makeup Mm. That if a man was to do with his beard, now we see Come that on. they have hey, beard listen, enhancements. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Not just the beard enhancement. You attach that mother. That's a strap-on beard that you just throw <laughs> on. And you know when you want to go out to the club, you know, you know, you put your button up right. your shirt. Right. Hold on. Swap. Right. We could also do certain things where we make it seem like we shape like this. Uh oh. And we really all like this. Yeah. So it, it's a lot that women can do mm -hmm. that. Um, that we don't want men to get away with. So I think it would have been better if Nage would have asked Caleb that. Because it's too weird to ask. It's like, it would you be okay weird. with a man? And so now a man can't look nice, a man can't. <laughs> so I'm saying, so wouldn't it be a trip? Like these women will get, you know, the breast enhancements, the butt enhancements. But there are things that, that, that men want in women. What if, like, you approach a dude and a dude's kind of getting their private areas in hand. So, like, that chest that you thought was his was really just injected. <laughs> okay. Or those abs. You know, they were created. Like, how would, would there be, like, I don't really kind of want that. A woman might have just had babies and, you know, mm -hmm. maybe could have did something to the body. Right. And they're just like, I like my extra skin. I just want to be able to deal with the extra skin. Mm -hmm. It's not kind of like I just want to be this video vixen, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get this stuff done to me. So those type of situations, I you could kind of consider and have a soft heart towards. I think the issue that we're seeing now is culturally, it's become a phenomenon for women to just feel um, not whole and not beautiful unless they look like this 
far, far out version of these perfect women, women that they see on Instagram and they see on television. And so if you were to approach me personally, I would just, I would have to remind you, one, that like you're beautiful to me, like you're gorgeous to me, and just and you, period. you're cute to me too. You, oh, thank you. you. I'll be trying. I'll be yeah. trying. But I'm <laughs> saying, like, of course there are imperfections, but like that t t in our eyes. But some of the things that we look at as imperfection, like our wide noses and sometimes mm -hmm. our wide hips, or whatever the case may be. I mean, there are things that we do to ourselves. But right. God is like, man, I didn't make no mistake on you. Mm -hmm. And so because we have daughters. I wouldn't want them. Right. I wouldn't want you getting obsessed with all the stuff that you could change about yourself because you know what that's going to do? Make our children see that there's only one way to be the acceptable form of beauty, right, right. and that is to change myself. And so I definitely would discourage you from doing that. Um, I, I don't know. Do you want anything done? Do I want anything done? Yeah. Um, not really. You know what? I don't even like surgery. I don't like the hospital. Like the so that that just throws me for a loop right then and there. But there's nothing that I would want. You've never been tempted to get nothing done. We in Atlanta. Come on now. This is the land of the bubble. Honestly, I would love a flatter stomach, but I'm I'm working on that on my work. on my own on my own. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to go into the crazy that. part is people be getting the surgery and then they eat crazy. <laughs> I ain't, well, we, we, let's move on. Let's move on because you know what? The devil is a liar. You must look the same. Look the same. <laughs> so you did all that. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So at, at the end of this thing, they chose grow and stay. He wasn't surprised that she chose it. She was surprised that he chose it. it was, but it was really dope to see that she came in talking about his height that wasn't her original preference. And But at the end of the day, she still chose grow and stay because, you know, uh, she felt like they vibed and they had mm -hmm. good conversations. So that was cool to see. That, that was really mature yeah, that, of both of them. Yeah. Because um, maybe Caleb didn't mention what he wanted to see in a young lady. But they because they saw the greatness of the conversation, it's like, yep, we're on stage. Yeah. So they would be willing to actually have more conversations, mm -hmm. not based on, not, and they, weren't, they didn't reject people and put up a wall just because, oh, okay, he's not six feet. You're not worthy of a conversation. You're not worthy of me getting to know you. And she said artistically, um, she didn't think that they vibe, but she was really surprised that he still, you know. And she asked the, the question, if opposites attract. And I think mm. sometimes we have in our mind, like when I get married, I'm gonna marry somebody who likes this just and like I do. like me. Do all you know? this. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we need balance. Like yes. they say opposites attract. Like some people just be wanting to marry their twin. Like we wearing the same thing. <laughs> and just to let y'all know, these <laughs> these joints are available. We're gonna let y'all know. We never anything. just alike. We, we never just alike, but I had this crazy set off free shipping sale. So these born again uh windbreakers are on sale. I, I just took a big commercial. They're on right. sale on. and it's free shipping. I'm paying for the promote shipping. Promote yourself. Go ahead and click that link. Yes. We're gonna promote this because it's quarantine. <laughs> Time we need to do this thing, so don't y'all think she looks good? Born again, who the sun says free is free indeed, and you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. So let's get back Wait, to it. But anyway, um, people uh, always think that the person that is exactly like them would, would make them compatible, yeah. And I, I don't. Do you, are we, we, we are alike in a lot of ways. We're alike in the ways that you, we, we discovered as we got to know each other. Mm -hmm. And, and we're alike in the ways that are important. We're alike in the, in our heart and yeah, the way that we yeah. desire to treat people and see people treated. Right. That for me, I love the fact that we connect in that area. As far as like what we would choose to watch on Netflix, all she want to no, watch, no, don't eat, don't, all she want to no, watch, don't do it, don't slave. Do it. Documentary. Born a slave, lived a slave, died a slave. What you want to watch today? Children of the slave. I'm the no, God no, of the slave. No. Mothers of slaves. I, I like Runaway black slave. cinema. I like black cinema. It's not. It don't have to just be slave. No, no. I promise you. If the, we could have just ran by something that said, it could have said for a gay. Did, did that say slave? She is. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? I'm born again. Uh-uh, you need to be born again. You, you need to be born again. You are obsessed, though. You need to be born again. But we're, di we're, we're different. Like, the things <laughs> I like to do and I like to engage in, she doesn't necessarily have interest in. You love to prove that you are right. Yes. I, I don't do. care if you think I'm right. If I know I'm right, I could just shut up and I'm good with it. Yeah. He... Oh, I hate man. the fact that you don't like to, like, get in the debate. Like, get to the bottom of it. You'd be like, oh, okay, all right, that's how you feel? That... Uh, that makes you mad. Oh my gosh. Come on and let's debate this thing. Let's discuss it. Mm. Yeah, mm. I don't care. Man. But any, anyway, so obviously those <laughs> things were not 
as important. There are things that I value that she doesn't value, but as far as the essential, the things that actually matter, like we 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 see eye to eye. So I think at the end of the day, like even the way I dress, you weren't like gung ho about the way I dressed back in the day. So when she pointed out like he dressed a little bit different, you never know. You didn't like, to be honest, you didn't like the way I dressed. Oh, I did. Y'all ever? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of her and put it up on the screen. No, wait, so you wanna go back to my high school? Dude? Oh man, she used to dress like spirit from this TV show. I think all of us, all one, of of, us. one of us, one, all of us, or one of one on one, one on one. one, on one. Her name was Spirit. She used to have the makeup they used to go. It's not with. about me. This yeah, about but me. I didn't like that stuff either. So I'm just saying there are things that that people could grow into and they're open to change. They get better. Like I said today. She she looks a hundred times better because of the woman that she's become, and she's grown to be even more beautiful than the, the first day that I thought that she was the most gorgeous thing on earth. So I think that's an amazing thing. The more you get to know someone, uh, the, the the better and the, the think, layers I that think both of that appeal has or peel that to both of us. I mean, yeah. like I thought she was cute back then, but then when I look back then, I look at you now. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> cut it out. But anyway, um, I just want to say this last thing. I really admire Kayla um, because there were some things that were said when we put out the first episode mm -hmm. and uh, one of the guys had comment about how he didn't appreciate plus size on the show. And um, he said that was an attack due to Nate saying his friend was short. Mm -hmm. and his friend Kayla. His friend Kayla was short. And Kayla came back and was like, hey, like he decided with his friend. He was like, hey, I don't mind that I'm short. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that I'm short. And he's like, I'm 5'9". Like, I ain't that short, though. Come on now. <laughs> but his response was not to retaliate. It was still loving. And I think that's when you can always see somebody's true integrity. And I think also, like, the confidence in who you are is like, yeah, I'm not six feet, but I'm still worthy like right, I'm, right, I'm right. still uh, I'm, I'm still confident in who I am and if someone doesn't or chooses to reject me based on the fact that I'm three or four inches shorter than they would want then I don't want them anyway so I think he I didn't think say all that that's what it, that's what it is like <laughs> that, I don't gotta waste that. my time with somebody that don't want to be with somebody that's not six feet I'm not six right, feet yeah. deal with it like right, they're, that's they're, what he said. my wife is gonna appreciate who I am yeah so. and I, I admire that about him yeah. so that showed me another insight to wow this is a great young yeah, they're, they're both great people. Yes. We know Nays personally now. I've yes. gotten to know Caleb now. Great people. So I really appreciate this day because now I see these two people when they first met and able to kind of have conversations. This is what we want. We want people to be able to talk about the hard things, talk about the big, uh, hard things in the beginning in so the beginning. that you don't have to deal with it in the mm -hmm. middle of that thing. So I appreciate y'all watching. And again, go ahead and click that link in the description. Uh, yeah, Born Again, there are also some other dope stuff. Free shipping on this on this link is free shipping and a discount. So, appreciate y'all. See y'all. Bye-bye.